Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to get rid of Div 0 in Excel. Excel has a setting that checks for errors whenever values or a formula is uh, entered into, the, into a cell. The Div 0 error appears when you try to divide a number by 0. So this is useful because it alerts you to a possible mistake uh, in the formula or in one of the values. But more often than not, the formula is correct, but it's just because of the data that is displayed that the error appears. So this doesn't look very nice when you've created a calculated column. And this shows up as an error when there's not, there isn't actually any uh, error. And as you can see in this example, where I've got a div zero error, this a small green triangle appears in the upper left corner and there's an alert icon and this table it doesn't really look nice it looks like I've done something wrong so I want to get rid of this div zero error because the formula is correct I checked it and I see that uh, it's sales divided by quantity which is uh, correct so uh, there is a way of handling this uh, error by using the if error function in Excel so I'm going to change this formula to include the if error function so I can either press F2 on the cell or place the cursor in the formula bar and type if error, open brackets. Now the first argument this takes is the value. So it could be a number or it could be a formula or any kind of uh, condition. And uh, what this function does is says that if this uh, formula or condition returns an error, what value do I want in its place? In this case, since this is a column of numbers, I'll type uh, zero. So what I'm saying is that if the formula returns an error, just put zero in its place and say enter. So now you can see that uh, since this does have a div zero error, it's uh, replaced it with a zero. I'll just copy this down to replace the others. Now you can see the cells that don't have errors, the formula is displayed correctly. And of course, if I go and change this quantity to say five, the correct price is shown. Now suppose I change another quantity to zero here, Instead of an error, I get the value of zero displayed. So this is how to get rid of div zero in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.